Hi everybody, today I'll be doing a tabletop review on a BRN22. This is Brownell's version of a Ruger 1022 takedown receiver. Doing this gear review, I'll be discussing fit and finish. And just my overall thoughts on this BRN22. This is a Brownell's exclusive receiver. This particular receiver, 119.99. They have the Picatinny rail version where the Picatinny rail was machined on top of the receiver. It's for 129.99 at Brownells. You can tell this was done with the CNC machine. If you look inside, all the radiuses, all the milling that was done in here is just top notch. You have a hole here for cleaning the barrel, which is really good if you don't have the takedown model. But if you own the takedown model, it's so easy to take apart that this is kind of negligible. This is how this receiver ships stock all the parts, all the screws you see on here, the barrel tightening assembly. The aesthetics of this black anodized finish looks amazing, but the the feel of this anodizing is very gritty. Brownells market this BRN22 as a receiver that will accept all Ruger 1022 stock parts. I started taking everything apart. I went out, I picked up all these aftermarket parts like the Hulk stock with the bull barrel. I also went out and bought a kid boat and that's where the heartbreak set in. I went to install my kid boat assembly in this receiver and unfortunately it does not fit. If you're trying to work on a custom Ruger 1022 using aftermarket 1022 parts, then you might want to use a standard Ruger receiver. You can reach out to Sap Outfitters and pick up a reasonably priced 1022 receiver. This receiver is great for building a standard 1022 with standard Ruger parts. I reached out to Brownells. Um, they are aware that kid bolts and a few other aftermarket parts will not fit in this receiver so they are in the process of remedying that situation hey and brownells or paul levy if you guys are watching this video hey feel free to reach out to me i want you guys have uh, worked with your machine and company and figured out the tolerances and i'd be more than happy to make a uh, updated video showing that completed bill using all the popular aftermarket parts that i've purchased for this bill so that's going to do it for this video don't forget to thank your local leo your local first responders and ems and your local military personnel those are the true american heroes it's the better out. Oh.